Oh, oh, oh. Let's go this side. Good morning, guys. Um, happy New Year's Eve. This video is going to come out on New Year's Eve, and uh, I just want to wish you all a happy 2024 when it comes. Um, you may, of course, see this in 2024, so it may already be with us. So hopefully, 2024 is going to be great for everybody. Hope you're healthy um, and do enjoy your photography. Now, I am today a uh, place I photographed before, and Norfolk, North Norfolk, is very famous for its windmills or wind pumps. And they're beautiful things to photograph, really lovely. Difficult to get to sometimes, but nice. Um, and you can see here, this is Cly Windmill and um, singer James Blunt grew up in there, he used to live there apparently. It's an interesting fact, isn't it, for you? Now, I've got a couple of pictures I want to do here. I was hoping for some really nice light. This time of year, um, just before um, the end of the year, sun, sunrise is 10 past eight. I mean, that's a fantastic thing because it means you can get out of bed at a reasonable time and be on location. So I'm here an hour before sunrise and hoping for a bit of light. There's a little bit of light appearing now, but it's been very, very dark. Now this time of year, because the sun is so low, in, uh, relatively in the sky, um, Sun rises when they be when they come are beautiful and they stay around for ages. Really, really lovely. So I'm really hoping we're going to get something decent today. If I'm honest, I think there's too much cloud about. I mean, the forecast said too much cloud today, tomorrow rain. So this was the day to shoot it um, because getting or keeping rain off the front of the lens is a pain. But I'm going to do a couple of compositions for this. I've got a couple in mind here. I've got some lovely reed beds and this lovely. Um, which just goes out into the channel river, no, we call it a river, but a piece of water. And then we've got the, the windmill itself. And obviously the clouds are going to be, or the sky is going to be the this image as well. Um, if, the, if the clouds don't work brilliantly and it's not that, that great, then the clouds will be showing less. But I might do something dramatic here, make the clouds really dark. Do, do some dark things. So I have done it, uh, as you can see here, I have done it really sunny frosty and, and a beautiful sunset so I've got that kind of image so this one's going to be maybe slightly different. You've got to work with the conditions you've got. Um, today we've got dark and moody. So Blakeney is just up the road by the way. And some lovely reed beds, some beautiful wildlife around here. It's a really bleak, barren kind of place which is why I love it. Gosh, so I think the rain has stopped now, just about. Trouble is this, an, this annoying rain where it's not much of it when it, it's just being blown about by the wind. So it only takes a, a, a half a second for it to go on the lens and the shot's kind of going to have lens, are going to have rain on it or the lens is going to have rain on it, which is not great. I haven't got the camera yet because I'm just waiting for this rain to go. It's not quite sunrise yet, but I have I've got another 10, 15 minutes. But what I have got now is some definition in the clouds. So some shapes here, which will, which will uh, uh, now enable me to pull those out and make those dark and moody. So that's going to work. And I also don't want too long an exposure for this because I want the cloud to have a little bit of definition in it. So something like a second or, so or less will be best. Um, and I'm just waiting for that to happen, just waiting for the light to come out a little bit more. But there's definitely some definition in the clouds. If I can't get uh, F11 and about a second with, F, with ISO 64, what I'm going to do is just raise the ISO a little bit just so I can get that kind of exposure because that's what I want. Uh, I think this is going to be a monochrome image, a dark and moody one which will be interesting because I've not done that. We're going to have these reeds in the front here. Um, obviously, they're blowing around because of this wind, so they're going to be blurred. But I've got a nice leading line with this little bit of water here taking us into the, um, into the, uh, the windmill itself. And, and then we'll see what happens. I'm just going to put the camera on now and do this. Um, so you'll watch me, do, watch me do it, watch me shoot it. And then what I'm going to do 
Let's put the image on the screen and see what you think. So let's calm me down a little bit. It's a nice day though. This is why I like Blakeney and this lovely bit of North Norfolk coast. It's just so bleak and so barren and so flat, um, but also really interesting because of all the reeds and all the wildlife, the amount of birds or flocks of birds I've seen come over here is lovely because up over on the beach there, we've got lots of shingle, lots of, um, it's a very interesting habitat. It's really, really good for wildlife around here and hardly anyone around. The odd van, the odd car and some lovely houses on this lovely Norfolk stone on these houses which really tell us that we're in Norfolk. Right, let me stop waffling, um, shoot this. Here comes the picture. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you can hear me very well, but <coughs> this um, camera's struggling to focus in this quite dark, murky conditions. But there we go. We've got, what we're shooting here, two seconds at F8, which is, I think it's going to be okay, to be honest. Um, we'll just do one with the ISO up a little bit. So we've got to, because the ISO nowadays doesn't make a great deal of difference. So we're going to go to, there's a half a second we've now got, which works a lot better. Just focusing up on the windmill. Um, and I've got a bit of sky in because, as I said to you, I'm going to try and burn this in, dodge this in, make it really dark and moody. So that, hopefully, is going to work. Make sure everything's level. Yeah, okay. Right, there's another shot I'm going to do just from down here. Um, bottom of this fence where I'm going to get the reeds in focus and throw the windmill out of focus. Just going to try that and then we're going to move back to the car and um, I'll clean you off a little bit, sorry about that. That's better. Yeah, so it's got one more shot I'm going to try which is down at the bottom of this fence line, level with the rushes. going to try and get the rushes blurry in the front. A little bit like this picture I've done at, I've done at Horsey a few years ago. So I quite like the idea. So I'm going to try and replicate that a little bit. Although actually some nice clouds, some darker clouds coming in. You might just do a couple more here and there's a little break in the cloud, how exciting. It's not gonna be enough for a good sunrise, but at least it's, at least it's there's, there's some detail in here that's moving around. Right, let's shoot this again then and then we'll go down to the bottom. So this is <laughs> it's not easy. Excuse the raindrops on the lens if there are any. Um, I've come down lower now, so I'm gonna try and get these grasses in at the bottom. Got to be careful because in the house or the building attached to the mill, there's some lights on people having breakfast. So I'm gonna try and get the camera low enough. So I, I don't wanna see half of those. Um, it's either all or nothing with that really. So I'm gonna get down lower and then these grasses are gonna blow a little bit. So they'll be a little bit blurred and I'm just gonna wait for some nice clouds, which is coming. Actually the clouds are looking quite good now behind the windmill. So um, this could gonna look quite good in mono. It's a bit of a challenge this though, because of the rain, the wind and, and the fact that it's freezing cold. Um, but you know, what do you do in photography? If you, if you want to, if you only got a chance of a couple of days out to take pictures, then you have to make the most of the conditions. And I'll, I'll be really pleased if I can get an image out of this because these are not ideal, ideal things to take a picture. And if I had my, my way, I would choose a really lovely sunrise, but unfortunately we haven't got it. I don't want to waste the journey. So make the most of what you've got, see what you can come up with. Right, let me do this and I'll put it on the screen for you now.
Oh, I just wish this rain would sod off. <laughs> it's just annoying. That's clear now. So we're okay, I think. If I stand here, I'm gonna put my back to the rain's coming over my shoulder. So that's definitely gonna work. Now, I'm just gonna shoot one slightly wider now so I can get these lovely dark clouds. Actually, that's looking cool, I like that. That might look good. This is landscape, slightly different. So focused up, just gonna make sure the lens is clear as your ears. Check the check everything, go. And we've got a half a second F8. Let's just go down to um, F13, just to give us a two second exposure. F16, we've gone there. Three second delay on it as well, doesn't help. I could actually go lot, slightly less on that, but let's have a look. I'm gonna go, the clouds are looking really good. Might be a hint of light coming out, actually. Where are we? Sunrise is three minutes time. So I'm just gonna put the cap back on, leave that in place. Because if we get any hint of light, I wanna be ready to hit it. <laughs> Right, let's turn you off for a minute. Oh. So I found this even better composition right down low here. This is sometimes a bit marshy down here, but it's actually not too bad. So I've got the, the little bit of water going through. I've got these reeds. I've got a really dramatic sky up above. And I've shot this portrait, but actually the landscape looks better. I put the, the windmill right on the left of the frame. So it's trying to show the river taking you into the sky. So it's about the sky. So therefore it's important that I wait for a really interesting piece of cloud, but the clouds are actually looking quite good. It's quite dark and dramatic. So it's gonna work, I think. So um, let me shoot that one. Uh, I'll put this on the screen and now I think we'll wrap this up. <laughs> what a day. Right, oh, that's, I'm gonna call it a day there because it's cold and I've got a bit of a walk back to the car, but I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, I'm trying to show you really what you can, what to happen when you've got adverse conditions. Um, let me just get this lens clear for you. It's a real test of your photography, isn't it? When, when the conditions are challenging as to whether you come back with something or not. So you could be the judge of whether I've hit this brief and succeeded with this, but I think so. I think the clouds are actually not too bad. So it's gonna be quite an interesting picture. Uh, my, my thoughts at the moment, into Lightroom as ever, and then I'm gonna put it into Nick Silver Effect uh, and have a little go at the black and white conversions on this, which I'm enjoying shooting. So um, put the pictures on now, have a look at. Thanks ever so much for tuning in. Uh, hopefully, if you see this on New Year's Eve, have a great time. If you see it after New Year's Eve, I hope 2024 is going well for you. Um, we're gonna have a quick drink with uh, my family tonight and just uh, celebrate 2023 and look forward to 2024. Hopefully another year of great photography um, coming your way. That's my plan. So Sunday at, Sunday at six o'clock is the time you'll catch me. Um, I'll see you next week. Next week I'm gonna be at OC Island photographing those beach huts again. I've got some really nice uh, pictures to show you, which I hope you'll come and join me for. So. Uh, hit the subscribe button um, subscribe should really be called follow it's not really there's no subscription involved there's no cost to you so if you've got a couple of seconds just be really good and you don't have to watch it ever again but that'll be really good i'm on 700 uh, subscribers at the moment so we're building up nicely uh, thanks ever so much for your time today and uh, if you don't blow over it's a bit windy uh, i will see you next sunday at six o'clock until then take care Happy 2024. Bye.